Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Ty, aka Glam by Ty. And those of you that are new to my channel, um, my name is Taisha and I'm a beauty blogger. So basically, I do all things hair, makeup, and beauty related. Um, my niche, I guess you can say, is finessing these wigs. Okay, sis? Because they're not going to finesse themselves. Um, in today's video, I have this hair that I have on my head now. And this is from a company called Bufo Hair. I want to be sure that I'm saying it right. I'm going to put it right here. But if I'm not mistaken, it's Bufo or Bufa. Something like that. They sent me um, the Brazilian border wave in 22 inches. It's this. Yeah, it's this. 22 inches. This is very long. So I'm going to stand up so you guys can see how long this hair comes on me. But it says, I'm on five. density and it is a full lace wig so that means this lace comes over here and I did go on ahead and put some eyes and I puffed it myself and so far so good only thing that I really can complain about is this hair symbolizes someone's actual hair so and because I'm short I keep sitting on it so it's getting a little dry at the end okay sis but what I've been realizing is some coconut oil or argan oil, olive oil, whatever you have, you could just make sure on the head that you do your lock method. And when you do your lock method, use a specific type of oil. I feel like it's just because I'm sitting on her. Like, I'm sitting on her. But I feel like if I wasn't sitting on her, I wouldn't have no issues and I feel like I would be good. So, so moving right along, I just wanted to show you guys how I style this um, wig. It did come with three combs and the adjustable straps in the back. Only thing is, this is curly hair, well, water weight hair. And with me, I like hair that has shape and it has volume and it's big and ba boom, ba boom, and the layers and all of that. So that's the type of hair that I like. Now don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with this wig. But it is very one dimensional. So it's 22 inches all around. It's not like, you know, it's not like 22 inches. Like, so, with that being said, the curls just go to depth. So, I was like, this is how can I do it? So, yes, I'm because it's so long. much tension on the So basically what I did
like to do is pull out the fingers that I'm using for my edges. So to begin my braid, I'm just gonna separate some hair right here in the front and braid like normal. Starting off with little pieces, little sections and increasing the hair that I add as I go. So I really suck at um, trying to explain how to braid because it took me a while to learn how to braid. So I'm not the best at explaining it. That's why I said you guys are probably gonna have to watch a few goddess braids videos <laughs> before you come to me. But if you guys ever get this wig, you should try it out because it's like it's a good look. them all over the place it doesn't even matter where you put them but the seashells seashells look like this and I'm putting the body pin through the loop like this and I'm just gonna them. There you, go. you can 
definitely add whatever you want into the braid. You can add the circle hooks, the gap beads, you can add seashells. <laughs> you can add whatever you want. Honestly, there's no rule to put it in my hair. Yeah, if somebody told you there was a rule to do hair, it's just they lied to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna stick it up the braid like this. So it's dangling on the braid. I think that's so cute. I did like one braid in the middle. Oh crap. Yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. Um, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Make sure you guys go on ahead and check out Bufo or Bufax's hair. I will have all of their things listed below. But yes, you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.